Hi, Jess Park here in uh, PBR Painter again with a fairly quick tip about using height maps in PBR Painter in Blender. For those of you who aren't familiar with height maps, and I'm assuming there's very few of you that aren't, height maps basically is uh, a grayscale image that gives you an indication of where the height should be of a displacement or a fake displacement in this <coughs> matter. And I'm on textures.com here and they have some 3d ornaments here let's say for example I can't remember the one I actually used it's this one here in here there's a whole load of objects that also come with a height map and they really use for sculpting primarily uh, but you can use them quite nicely uh, as a bump map or even potentially uh, in the long run as a normal map once converted. So here we are in Blender and let's jump straight over to Texture Paint and let's add our base layer and let's put an image on there and let's fill it. So there's our base and to add a normal kind of a displacement, fake displacement bump to this texture, we need to add a new layer and we'll call this bump displace test. Go OK and we're going to go to the primary primary PBR channels and just click on normal link to mask and that will allow us to see what we're just about to do. So now we add a mask, we make a new image texture and we'll make it fairly big at 4k whoops <laughs> it's me rushing let's say small speed and we'll go paint mask make sure when your brush settings you're on paint and then activate brush texture, create a new texture, make it stencil, image or movie, and then either I've actually got it already loaded here, my my uh, where are you textures.com and you'll see as soon as I hover my mouse over the viewpoint here, you can see it's actually stenc the stencils here. Uh, once again to move the stencils right mouse click to rotate it is right mouse click with control and to scale it is right mouse click with the shift button I at the moment it's viewing the um, previewing it on the mask but we don't need that because we won't want to be able to see where we're putting it so I'm just going to go to one of the sides scale it right down move it up and paint over it Oh, I had to fill my layer first, which I completely forgot to do. Uh, so there we go. So we'll go back to paint again. And make sure I'm on paint brush. <laughs> Rushing again. And so uh, there we go. So let's just rotate that around, scale it up, move it over. And there we go. So that's how to use the height maps here. And then eventually, of course, when you um, when you bake it all down, this will bake as a normal map because it's using the normal map layer. And so you'll, essentially, you'll be able to create a, a normal map as well. So there. Hopefully, that uh, gives you some indication of how you can use height maps with PBR Painter in Blender.